Oh no, no, what's this? Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that, the mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. Huh. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your Thank peers. Think you're right, simple math teachers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Okay. Collect the flying page near the broken statue. Collect the flying page in the defense against the Dark Arts Tower. I'm not sure what any of this means, but let's go. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. It's probably flying. Yeah, there it is. Got it. I like how the, the little emblems down there somewhere. kind of tell me it kind of the, the, it kind of gets you a picture of what it is so you don't get too confused. Uh yeah. Yeah, it's still we're still like kind of in the tutorial phase. All right, collect the flying page in the defense against the dark arts tower. I trust the preliminary... I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. What? How did I miss that one? The mending charm rep repair can be used to mend broken objects and pieces of the environment. Okay, that's really cool. So I can fix like bridges and stuff. That's crazy. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have yeah. a go with that broken statue repair. in the alcove. The it allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted hey. lover thought it too accurate to have lashed out. Repairer. Something quite satisfying about using the mending charm, isn't there? Akio. Repairer. Okay. That's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, welcome to Hogsmeade. Okay, now we're going to Hogsmeade. Sweet. Professor Weasley has arranged for me to visit the nearby village of, of Hogsmeade and replace my lost supplies. I should be able to navigate to the different shops using my map. Natty Onai Natty will keep me company along the way. I'm excited to do the supply thing and I think I think I should be getting my own wand. What are what are those chests there? This shit, does that mean there's a chest right here?
What? Whoa! Oh, okay. I see what we're doing here. Wait. Maybe not. What is that? Okay. This cannot possibly be. This cannot possibly be. I guess I don't have any stamina in this game, huh? I'm fine with that. Hello. Looking for me? Hello. Yes, looking for you. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. So I, wish, I, I wonder which one of the students is going to turn out to be like a real piece of shit. So why is like how I block? I gotta keep that in mind. Dun 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 dun. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a better be in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. Dude, are we gonna get brooms? Are we gonna, are we gonna be able to fly I at some point? I tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air. I got to play it a couple days early. I think that's rooms. part of it. <laughs> Grave mistake to take I may have gotten like a couple. I may. I think I got some stuff. Hold on. I thought I got some stuff. I don't remember. I think the biggest thing was just being able to, uh, those are, oh, let's go. No, I don't want to wear that stupid hat. me yeah i believe you though i suppose it's only ten dollars more for the deluxe wasn't bad when your mother was the one who elected that you take it Akio. oh this time of year everyone will tell you to visit at christmas but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> Not much for the cold, are you? It did give me something at oh, the beginning, I but I wasn't paying attention. So but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Maybe I can create more health vials or some, something like that? Hey, you know what? From the Forbidden Forest. I think this is the first game I've played where the NPC can run as fast as you. That's one thing they've gotten right. Every other game, the NPC, you you out, you gotta like walk really slow. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Do you think 
Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Likely already named them. That's the forbidden forest on the left. It's off limits to students, <laughs> as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Oh ah, man, it's drizzling out there and, and their, their cloaks are getting wet. This game is pretty awesome so far. Dude, don't we have like brooms or something? I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Hmm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in I'm not gonna class, die once this whole game. How much you wanna bet? Outside of the castle walls. Put that hat on. I think you're about five minutes behind, Michael. You might want to hit live, bro. <laughs> How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so... It was a lake? ...new and unfamiliar. Bro, I'm this is about to be crazy. To what about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Huh? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss on I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jimmy, guys. A lot of this game reminds me of Want to Be Elden Ring. Mm, terrifying. I think we'll, we'll really get a good sense of what this game actually is as soon as we get into, like, actual combat with actual bosses. You know what I mean? I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I'm kind of retarded. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. What does that do? Nearly there. there Moonstone. Is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natta. Thank you. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. I just want to, I just want to customize a wand. That's what I'm trying to do right now. Jung, Jung, Professor Weasley said Jung, that you need Jung. to get potion recipes, spellcraft, some seeds, and a wand. new wand. Of course, you will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Hogsmeade Village is brimming with different sites, shops, and other points of interest that you can navigate using your field guide's map. Okay, here we go. Uh, the Hogsmeade map shows shops and points of interest. You can track any of these by highlighting an icon and pressing A. get a wand baby Merlin's blooming beard not again 
get a toothpick? I'll be right with. Ah, damn. It's you. Um, just a moment, please. I'm so tall, I look like a toothpick. Ah, uh, hello, sir. I'm looking for for a new wand. Yes, it's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you. I know, man. Game, they just keep getting now, better and better. Come simple. With me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. It's like the only one like it. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. That's what she said. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, um, Come on, I want that one. We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, <laughs> not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon. That's heart what she string. said. Let's give this one a try. Goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Think you might be the one. Here, take it. Okay. How intriguing. Curious indeed. Needing an Adam and Eve promotion. I'm gonna stop spamming chat. I know I need the chat, man. The chats don't stop How chatting. <laughs> Keep talking. No, no matter. Just put letters. No, I'm just kidding. That's kind of. That one's kind of cool. I kind of like that. Curious indeed. Wood and type. All right, well, let's, let's see what we got here. How intriguing. So it doesn't change the look. What's the strongest wood, guys? Curious indeed. Did somebody look up what the strongest wood is? Like tree type? I know that doesn't matter for the game. But I would like to know. Just for psychologically, I want to go into this thing with. Just pick what you, I know, man. I'm How trying intriguing. to like. Can't you can't just humor me, really? Okay. Well, obviously, I need like a regular one. <laughs> yes, indeed. Wait, are these in? Red oak. Okay, I'll go red oak. 12 inches? No, we're going 14 and a half inches. <laughs> barely, barely bendy? Hell no. Unyielding. <laughs> I 
Look. We're, <laughs> we're, dude, this How is so stupid. It's, I can go from nine and a half inches all the way to 14 and a half inches, and I can go from quite bendy to unyielding or or unbending or rigid or stiff or solid. Curious indeed. <laughs> the, the, we're, we're locked in, dude. We're locked in. The hair of a unicorn that serves as the core of a wand. Phoenix feather or a dragon heartstring? Dragon heartstring that serves as the core of the wand known for producing powerful magic. The feather of a phoenix that serves as the core of a wand capable of producing a great range of magic. We're going power, power. We're going more A powerful. dragon heartstring wand is most powerful and learns quickly. I bet it don't. What do you think? That's a badass wand, dude. That's I get. I bet I have the nicest wand. Extraordinary. In all of Hogwarts. <laughs> another no question. Wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. That's I what she said. Sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seems. Or watch your freaking mouth, Michael. Powerful. The right wand will learn from you just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. <laughs> I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Yes. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Hey. Visit the scrolls, the potions, and the neep. Okay. One thing I appreciate about this game is it doesn't feel like it's it's not rushing the game. I mean, this is a long build up, dude. I mean, I'm like what, almost two and a half hours in. I wish the headmaster was time. An inquiring mind. Pardon me, Todd sir. Packer. I'm here for the <laughs> Starcrafts, Professor He's Winston. the wand expert. All the dark the ten plus student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here, Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then. I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. It's true, Michael. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. That's true. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? A potting table with a small pot craft.
A small potion station spellcraft unlocks the ability to conjure a small potion station perfectly suited to all of your potion brewing needs. Oh, cool. Like a crafting table, but on the if go. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Uh, I can't afford any of this stuff, dude. Revelio. So now we got to go do J Pippin's potions. Here we go. <laughs> it seems like it'd be annoying to be running around and kicking up your own coat constantly. Welcome to J. Pippin's potions. What's up, Mr. Pippin? Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? <laughs> well, Was the Dementors at your service. And this <laughs> is J. Pippin's potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some <laughs> recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. Sure, the students... No, not she like Harry Potter. <laughs> I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> the magic soap. What can I do for you today? Uh, Idris potion recipe. Recipe for a potion that causes a rocky film to develop on the consumer's skin, helping to protect them from harm. Okay, that's crazy. Recipe for a healing potion. Here we go. This one I would need. The, the Wigan Well potion recipe. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Jericho, what's up, my man? So you're a wizard, Adam? Yes, I am. I'm a good looking one, too. Look at this. Oh, it's great so far. And dude, we've we've literally we have we haven't even done anything. It's literally just the game is still setting up. It's crazy. We've done like no real missions yet. Well, hello there. Pardon hello. Me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my I'm doing shop, great, Jericho. How are you doing? Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But 
What say we get you a package of Dipney seeds? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty. I don't know what any of that stuff is for yet. We'll get it all figured out. What's up, girlfriend? Ah, I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. I appreciate that, Jericho. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Oh, what is this? No, 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 no. help or what is that another one I gotta be seeing swings twice. Back hurt him more. Oh, you look so dumb. Oh, shit. Until they didn't skimp on this floor. game. No, it's. Did you two take and that was just like a beginner boss, you know what I mean? By yourselves. I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you 
Again. Repairer. If you would, I will see what he wants. Ah, good as you. Repair it. Dude, these wizards are way better than the Avengers. Every time the Avengers save the day, they just leave the place in Best rubble. For Officer Singer to worry about. The wizards are better heroes than the Avengers. The Avengers, every time they get into a situation, they do billions of dollars in damage and they leave it up to whoever else, somebody else to deal with the repercussions. We break shit and we fix shit. Repower. All right, Granny, calm down. <laughs> we were just talking about you. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. I haven't. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's Wizardware, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous. What a uh, platform is it on? At least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Oh, word? Oh, these all cost money. Bro. Um, your current uh, defense and offense are displayed at the top right of the screen. I have no defense. Oh, my God. Select the cloaks and robes gear slots and press A. Equip a robe. I'm broke as a joke. an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeat. I would say that we and you in particular uh, Oh, have I have Amazon Prime. Nice. Shall we head yeah. to the Three Brooms? I'll start watching that. Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Is that the Just guy? Hold way, on. Then. Is that the one with uh there's like a meme of the guy who's like it's absolutely perfect. Like that guy he looks crazy. I'm guessing is that the bad guy in the show? I I literally only know about it cuz I've seen like that meme where the guy is uh looks like a psycho you know what i mean visit vendors to sell gear okay
Oh, we're gonna go get a broomstick. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess. All right, sounds good. And a powerful witch. Good one to know. This game just feels so much better made than Forspoken was. It just feels more solid in, the, in all the transitions and everything. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. The uh, hell? Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. Why do they want it? Like, I think the part has still been a mystery the in the game. I don't think they've even said exactly why. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh. There's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Dude, I thought I was going to get a broom. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. Hey, Fresno, what's up, my man? I will say... Hey, trolls, guys, if you haven't already, uh, please drop a like on the stream. It really it's helps the stream out before. a lot. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. What time, man? Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. That's what I'm she said. For this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. <laughs> I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Don't do it, dude. Come, the ominous. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. Three You're not that guy. To be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. I don't know, Samurai. I can't drink butterbeer forever. No, but I bet there's a secret passage out the back. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. Yeah, say so. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. Some quests have open objectives with no compass path. Okay. I mean, they're going to try to attack me out here, right? I am certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Brookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on, and I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. You must return to your common room for the night. Access the map. We have a bedtime? Select the Hogwarts map. Just 
switch to Hogwarts map. Oh, so the Hogwarts map, then there's a world map. Okay. He's out of my hand. But I'm still in control. It's out of my head. Quest complete. Welcome to Hogsmeade. Okay, let's check the map. Or let's check our uh, check our quests. Wait, okay, so so what's up with these challenges? Hold on. So I, I gotta familiarize myself with it. So the challenges. Okay, so right now the only challenges I have are quests and filled guide pages. Okay. So I don't really have to mess with I don't really have to worry about that too much. Cross wands? That's what she said. How do I get to like my my room? Trying to get you, I'm trying to familiarize myself with all this. You've received an owl post. Come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket we found at Green Gringotts. Okay, I'll come see when I'm freaking ready, bro. Come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket we found at Gringotts. I guess. I think Transfiguration is hard. This place is pretty cool. Off on another In adventure, this are we? Dude, I want to know what the hell, what kind of secrets we got going on with this place. Why these people are after me? Why I got to keep it a secret from everyone? The, the, the whole thing is shady. Professor Howard's going to quiz us on I'm, not, I'm not a big fan of lying to people. This guy's turned me into a liar since day one. I think I could have fast traveled to this to this building. Wait, what?
Or my... Bro, I'm not freaking ass off to get to this dude. Well, there's there's a chest down there. I was trying to get on. I was just trying to stay on top of it so I could look off the edge. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I, you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver. Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade with Rookwood. Mm -hmm. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have had Serona and the patrons at the Three Brumsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I All discovered this over an inscription. a locket? When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. Hmm. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise. And a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Should we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm and hey, I'm Linda, to what's up, man? what we may find there as well. Hope you're doing well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit. If you don't mind, Lyndon, leave a continue. like. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. Okay. Professor Fig, as if my schedule wasn't uh, congested enough, the Ministry has charged me with arraying, arranging uh, the rather inconvenient arrival of a new student at Hogwarts. A fifth year, if you can believe. Professor Weasley insists that they will need an escort and a mentor to help them um, acclimatize, acclimatize, acclimatize uh, before term begins. I have assigned the task to you. Please see Professor Weasley for details. Professor Phineas... N N Nicholas, N Nicholas Black, Headmaster. Okay. Ah, secrets of the restricted section. I want to get started on that. <gasps> we'll do that in a minute. Let's go do an assi Let's go do an. Let's go do an assignment. I don't want to. I don't want to go into the main mission like too much, the main quest. Like I want to. I want to do because we got to do the assignments and stuff anyway. You know what I mean? So it, that's part of it. Let's see where this map is. Where am I going here? Okay, so that's where am I at? Okay, I'm going here. I don't know. I kind of feel like I just want to run around Hogwarts. I feel like. What's up? I love you too. Do you like in the game? Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. See you in the morning. Huh? Want to pour me a little drink? Is you poo or no? No. What do you mean no? No, I don't want to. Well, will you? <laughs> You're right. <laughs> One little drinky poo is not gonna. It's not gonna. Mm, you're right. I love you. I love you too. If you ever want her to make you a drink, you gotta sound pathetic and ask her for a drinky poo. And when she says no, just go, just give me a minute. I just need a little drinky poo. 
Katrina Linden said hi. She said, I don't know who that is. Shut the fuck up. Katrina, that's rude. I wouldn't personally talk to you like that, Linden. But... What are you up to now? Dude, thank God these, these uh, markers are on here. Ain't no damn way I can figure this out. Funny thing is, I'm playing, I'm planning on getting this game out of you. Should, man. So far, so good. Any of you know where I can find some leaving photos? Any of you know? Shut up. Wait, what? Elizabeth would like a Hold on a second. I thought that. Bro, are you kidding me? I haven't traveled here yet. Ravenclaw, bro, I am a uh, sniffing dork or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Handy resource indeed. Like Your bumble bag or something. I don't know. I'm like uh, snuffing gruff or some shit. I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> Hufflepuff, that's what it is. Akio. Ah, I believe. I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, <laughs> Professor. Good. A Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your I'm defensive great. magic assignments. Thank you, honey. As such, you have to learn Incendio, the fire making spell. Handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and when necessary, defending Kitchen against winch. those who would <laughs> wish to do us harm. Sounds uh, versatile. Quite. Oh, I need this one. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. Oh, this should be awesome, bro. You know where to find me once you've finished. But win two rounds of cross wands. Okay, let's go. This, this sounds Seems really fun. Wands isn't as secret as it's believed to be. If only a new student were to help me with my sad predicament. You know what? All out. She. Okay, fine. What? What does she need? Might some kind soul help me? <laughs> Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak, the girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Everyone hates you? Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no talent moon mind. <laughs> I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. Would, my would you what? What I want? That is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. That's Random. what she said. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. I haven't much interest in a game that sprays you with odors. Only <laughs> if you lose, which I never do. Or at least, not often. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Yeah! Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. 
Sounds as if you caused the smelly situation and they responded accordingly. I didn't make the rules. Yeah. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. Bro. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. Why would I help this chick do this? Wait, I do it here? No, 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 no. Wait, hold on. Let, let's see. Let's see what this is. I don't know if this is something. Oh, I don't. I don't know what, if I want to do this. Let's go see what this is. The hell's like what, bro? I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. What does this game got me doing? What the hell's a gobstone? Akio. What's this place? What is that? It's glowing. Okay. It helped if I knew what the heck gobstone even looked like. Wait, they're on the map? Wait, hold on a second. Wait, why is this area purple? Bro, what the hell? I gotta go to each one of these places. Bro, ain't no damn way. Yeah, why is that orange? Like, what is that? Oh, gobstone. Akio. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. Okay, so it's green. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. LeBron James now the all-time leading scorer in the NBA. Yeah, he's, he's been playing for a long time, man. I bet you think he's better than Jordan too, don't you? I bet you're one of those guys. You're just not old enough to appreciate the goat. I can look for these green orb things, or the one was green. I don't know if the, if the lobby green or not. Let's go upstairs. Here, Kobe. Dude, I, I, I've told you before that I wanted, if I had a son, I was going to name him Kobe, right? Like Kobe was one of my favorite players growing up. For some reason, he doesn't get talked about near enough as, like, the greatest of all time. You know, they talk about... They talk about uh, Jordan and versus LeBron, but I'm like, dude... 
Kobe won five championships. And he was, you know, I don't think he was on the Jordan's level in some I'd ways. Better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. But I mean, dude, he literally modeled. I mean, he had that same tenacity, that killer instinct. You can't imagine how and Kobe was to me is the closest to Jordan as, as there's ever been a Jordan. In my humble opinion. Mamba mentality? Yeah, I know. Yeah, he's... Yeah, I'm a huge Kobe fan, man. The hell is this place? We're moving to... A goat! All right. I don't know what this is. I guess we'll figure this out later, huh? I'd better keep an eye on high places around. He annoyed me when he was younger, but as I get older, I appreciate Kobe. Yeah, I mean, look, I don't know personally. I know that he, he was accused of some stuff. You guys probably know what I'm talking about. And Off on another adventure. I, I don't know. I, I'm talking about just purely as a, a basketball player. You know what I mean? Obviously, I don't. I don't know personally. I don't know accusations. You know, I don't. Obviously, I would. I wouldn't know any truth there. What's this? I don't get what the hell this is. Oh. I have no idea what that means, bro. But to figure, figure those out later. All right, I gotta get. I better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Dude, I actually, you know what's crazy? In a lot of games, this kind of stuff would kind of annoy me. I've always said that travel. But this is not annoying me at all. Like, I, I really do want to milk this game. Got me over here looking for a damn orb. Now I'm 40, 65, 225 with 149 IQ. Life is good. <laughs> what the hell are you, what are you talking about, Jason? Or uh, Michael? Wait, am I close? But what where the heck is this orb at? So if you look down in the in the little mini map in the bottom left, it's in the purple area, but it just doesn't tell you where. Like what story it's on. Or what floor, I mean. It could just be sitting. Okay, the game's feeling sorry for me. It's giving me hints. That's nice. Orb is in your heart. Yeah, but I need to be in my hands. 
I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Bro, I am. Oh, oh my gosh, it's right there, bro. How did I not see that? Okay. And this is just nerdy enough that I, I freaking love it. Oh, guys, uh, I, I'm, I want to tell you something that, I, that I'm starting to do, starting with this game. So what what I'm gonna be doing is during my streams I'm gonna stream I'm gonna stream for what four or five hours or something, but I'm, I'm recording my streams as I play them. Each hour, around an hour or so, I am going to stop recording and then start recording again. I'm gonna so I'm breaking up my recordings into an hour segments, uh, hour or so, hour hour and a half max. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upload them after the fact on YouTube and another place. Um, as just shorter episodes so for the for instance if i stream four hours tonight then tomorrow uh you're i'm gonna schedule them out and you're gonna get uh parts you know one two three and four basically i'm gonna break them up like that lumos I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. All right, how many we got down? We got like three or four of them now. Whoa, that was cool, man. This, this is just this place, this map, this uh, world just looks so interesting, man. This is awesome. I love that I haven't even done any. I haven't even done any serious quests yet. And I'm like three, three hours in. That's crazy. How nice to see you, my young friend. Thank you. I'm not sure who just said that, but okay. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Think. Careful now. Suppose Black's children are as condescending and ill-tempered as he is. I wish there was something I could do to stop. There we go. Here. That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I'll be bada boom. Go and see her. That's cool. Not sure who or what that is, but it's pretty cool. Dude, that's so crazy. <laughs> I'll see if I can run fast enough to like fall off of it. Answer's no. And my guy is in incredible shape. He literally never gets tired. I don't know if you noticed that or not. Oh, I think that chest is those that puzzle thing that I haven't figured out yet. I think the volume seems low, even though I got it turned up to a fair amount. What do you guys think of the game so far? I mean, you guys have seen what I've seen. It's it looks like um, I mean I've, I've barely done anything. And I've had fun the whole time. 
All right, Michael. Uh, I'll see you later, buddy. I hope you have a good night. All right, cool. All right, man. I hope you get some rest. I hope you've had more luck than I did tracking down my gob. Hello, Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However, did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? I'm afraid I've decided to keep them. That'll teach you to stink up your classmates. What? You'll keep my <laughs> prize collection for yourself? Yes. Find his keepers, I'm afraid. I knew it. You're just as bad as everyone else. I hate this school. You'll all be sorry when I learn some more spells. I think I just, uh, I think I just created a mass speller. Whoops. I think that one may come back to haunt me. All right, let's, uh, let's go find a main quest.